I'm going to show you how to make apricot and pecan stuffing balls, the perfect side dish for your Christmas dinner. They're packed full of flavour and really easy to make. So the first thing you need to do is to fry off the onions and garlic. Set a pan over the heat, add a splash of oil and a knob of butter. As soon as your butter's foaming, add your onions and tip in your garlic. So just fry these for about four or five minutes until they're really lovely and soft. While the onions soften away slowly, I'm going to get on with chopping the rest of the ingredients. So these apricots add a great bit of sweetness. Really, Christmas dinner needs that sweetness. If you think of things like red currant jelly, cranberry sauce, they've all got that little sweet kick, so it will work really, really well. And next up, some pecans. Nuts work so well in stuffing because they've got a great flavour, but also add a brilliant texture as well. And you could use any nuts, really, just as long as they're roughly chopped. So like walnuts, hazelnuts or almonds. Don't go too fine when you're chopping the nuts. You still want a bit of texture in your stuffing. And next up, some thyme. So just take the stem of thyme, run your fingers down and pull the leaves off. Now, it's no secret that kitchens can get really busy and stressful around Christmas time, particularly with lots of family and friends around. So this is one of these great dishes that can be prepared ahead. So pop your thyme to one side and then these onions look ready. That's what you're looking for. Just starting to go golden and really lovely and soft. Take a large mixing bowl, tip your onions in and just let them cool for a couple of minutes. While the onions are cooling, it's going to beat the eggs. And these eggs really are the glue that hold everything together. So once the onions are cooled, just add the breadcrumbs and then all the remaining ingredients. Apricots, our chopped thyme, and all these lovely crunchy pecan nuts. Give everything a stir. And then for a real classic Christmassy flavour, some clementine. Now, I always know that as soon as clementines are in my house, Christmas is just around the corner. And the smell of that zest just reminds me of Christmas Day. This is going to add a great sweet acidity to the stuffing. And then the beaten egg, and really work those ingredients together. And lastly, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, the best way to get those really combined, get your hands dirty. So get in there, give everything a good squish. You want to make sure you really amalgamate all of those flavours, and you'll feel it start to come together, almost like a rough dough. And once the mixture just comes together to form a ball, stop working it. If you squish the mixture too hard now, you're going to end up with really, really dense stuffing balls. And we want these to have some texture, but we also want them to be nice and light as well. I've got a baking tray lined with a bit of parchment. Now it's time to roll. And the best way to do this is just with slightly damp hands. So take a little bit of the mixture, just roll the mixture into a nice, even ball. And then just keep going until you've used up all your mixture. This should make around 20. So if you want to make these in advance and get into this stage, cover them in cling film and pop them in the fridge. You can do that the day ahead and save yourself the time. Or you can cook them straight on a baking tray like this for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Oh, there we go. They smell amazing. You can tell they're cooked because they're piping hot, crisp and golden. Perfect to serve alongside your Christmas dinner. And these apricot and pecan stuffing balls are a great addition to any Christmas dinner.